down in this show because mountains and valleys are our subject. From the peaks of the Pyrenees to the much higher Himalayas, home of the Sherpas. But it's not in the Himalayas that you find one of the most rugged mountainous regions on Earth. It's here in the southern seas. There's a river full of life that runs to the deadest of all ends. And learning how to read a barcode on the slopes of Mount Kenya. Let's start in that chain of mountains that links the warm Mediterranean with the cool Atlantic. The Pyrenees are a single block of the Earth's crust, over 400 kilometers long, thrust up between France and Spain. Elevations exceed 3,000 meters, and it's near the snow line that you find alpine chuffs, members of the crow family. Much of the plant life here is of Arctic origin, brought southwards during the last ice age. Food for the chamois, who like the higher reaches of the Pyrenees, well away from skiers and walkers. Hunted almost to extinction, they're now protected and their numbers are increasing. There are reserves on both sides of the mountain barrier. In France and in the Odessa National Park, a vast sweep of high peaks and deep limestone valleys. At the end of the last glacial era, about 10,000 years ago, alpine marmots disappeared from the Pyrenees. They have, however, been reintroduced. And in early April, they emerged from their winter hibernation. A sure sign that things are warming up. The mountains now lose their mantle of snow. Edelweiss and orchids blossom in the meadows. Further down river, pine trees lift their heads. And in a high valley pool, a creature that looks as if it swam right out of prehistory is still alive and well. This is a Pyrenean brook salamander, and it's found nowhere else on Earth. Even further downstream, is the Pyrenees' most bizarre animal. With webbed feet and a long snout, the Pyrenean Desmond is in a group all of its own, though it's distantly related to the mole you find in your garden. Here, it's searching for crustaceans and dead fish on the riverbed. Bears are rare in the Pyrenees. They're more often seen in the mountains to the west. This brown bear mother has taught her three five-month-old cubs to look under the rocks for beetles. Most valleys in the Pyrenees run north-south, but those at Odessa, carved out by ancient glaciers, run east-west. They're open to the cool, moist air off the Atlantic, and they're lush and temperate. Other animals have thrived here. There are over 170 species of birds. But the Odessa Park was actually set up to protect the ibex, a kind of wild goat. Ironically, the ibex numbers are still declining, and it's not clear why. Possibly it's the sheer numbers of people visiting the Pyrenees. Although they're twice the size of a chamois, they're just as sure-footed. Their ability to scamper over near vertical rocks is legendary. And it all comes down to their amazing cloven hooves. The point of the hoof is hard, but the rest is as flexible as rubber, and each side can move independently. <laughs> 